کو براہ راست لے چلیں گے دنیا کی سب سے بڑی تنظیم یونیورسل پیس فیڈریشن کا ذریعہ تمام جنوبی کوریا میں ریلی آف ہوپ انٹرنیشنل آن لائن کانفرنس جاری ہے دنیا بھر سے لاکھوں افراد شریک ہیں of a culture of peace, which must be the antidote to the cult of intolerance and the predisposition to violence. In a cultural context consisting of the exchange of values, communion among different peoples, and the search for lasting values, it is ethical dialogue both within and between civilizations that can be effective at the effective engine of development and world peace. These should therefore be elements that shape the young entrepreneurship that is emerging everywhere and that is becoming increasingly important. Therefore, I believe that in order to build a better world, to strengthen democracy and encourage citizenship, it is not only the economy that is important, values are also fundamental, and in this sense I agree with the young, with the young people. Change must begin now. I conclude by saluting the memory of Reverend Dr. Sun Myung Moon, founder of the Universal Peace Federation, who through his philosophy of peace created this unstoppable global humanitarian movement that is continued by his wife and co-founder of this prestigious organization, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon and salute all who, like us Cape Verdeans, affirm the primacy of peace as a fundamental vector for the progress of humanity. Yeah. Kindest regards. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Let us give another round of applause to His Excellency George Carlos Fonseca, President of Capo Verde, for his inspiring message. And today is a day of hope, and the time has come for the final keynote address. This keynote address will be delivered by former President of Timor-Leste, His Excellency Sanana Gusmao. In his younger days, His Excellency Sanana Gusmao was an independence fighter who risked his life with a vision of peace in his heart for the independence of Timor-Leste. In Timor-Leste, which came under Indonesian rule, just after gaining in independence from Portugal in 1975, Mr. Gusmao served as an outstanding commander of the East Timor Independence Movement Group, Fretilin. In 1999, a referendum on the independence of Timor-Leste supported by the majority of its people led to more violence. International peacekeeping forces stopped the violence and efforts were made to rebuild the country. On April 14, 2002, His Excellency Gusmao was elected as the first president of Timor-Leste as a completely independent nation. His inauguration was attended by then Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, and U.S. President Bill Clinton. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our final keynote speaker. His Excellency President Sananao Gusmao of Timor Leste. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and privilege to address you all at this fifth rally of hope. I would like to start by honoring the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has already killed over 2.3 million people throughout the world. Our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families. At a time when this tragedy compels us to close our borders, virtually all of us must prepare 
to deal with a serious social and economic crisis that will further increase poverty and inequality in our countries. And so, I would like to see international cooperation and solidarity strengthened so that poor countries are not left behind. Vaccines must reach every person quickly and free of charge, and we must focus on global resilience rather than national. Your Excellencies, I would also like to thank Dr. Moon, co-founder of the UPF, for, the, for her utmost dedication to promoting global peace and, and understanding. And let me honor as well the memory of her late husband, Reverend Dr. Sun Myung Moon, so that we may continue his work of promoting greater solidarity between all peoples. In 2019, I took part in the World Leaders Gathered for the Asia Pacific Summit in Cambodia. At the time, we vowed to spare no effort in promoting peace, prosperity, and universal values. However, I am saddened to see that war and conflict have not abated and that millions of men, women, and children continue to suffer as before. In order for it to be truly possible to further peace and to quell terror, we must understand and believe that everyone truly matters. We must protect equality and universal values, and we must do so while respecting the uniqueness of every individual, society, and country. Today's challenges are complex and require new stances and approaches. We must redesign the models of the past in order to adapt them to reality, or better yet, to the various realities we must do our best to encourage dialogue between warring groups and amongst all those that can contribute to a solution, both within countries and outside. Speaking from experience, both in my country of Timor-Leste and in the group of fragile and conflict-affected countries called the G7+, Plus, I can say with certainty that fair peace means much more than the absence of conflict. It is paramount to also free people from hunger, disease, and poverty. We learned during our first years of independence that there can be no development without peace and no peace without development. So I say, ladies and gentlemen, that courage and resilience are the key words for today's challenge. Courage, so as not to give in to pessimism and not to stop trying, which would make the world's problems even worse and resilience, so as to continue working to unite people within their diversity and to ensure that intensive dialogue and diplomacy prevail. The international community must remain steadfast and show solidarity. We do not have time to waste any opportunity we have to do better. Consistent with universal values, our interdependence and the strengthening of partnership based on mutual respect. We must do better for individuals and for the whole of humanity until fair peace is both a right and a duty for every person in the world.
Thank you very, very much. Your Excellency, your speech inspired us and helped us see a vision for peace based on our shared values. 감사합니다, 대통령님. 정말 멋진 연설을 해주신 우리 샤나나 구스마오 대통령께 여러분 다시 한번 큰 감사의 박수를 보내주시면 좋겠습니다. One more round of applause for the leaders who, in their keynote addresses, supported the vision of a unified world based on mutual cooperation in our world of division and conflict. Thank you very much. Today, through the fifth rally of hope for the realization of a heavenly unified world, we have brought together our wisdom, our resolve, but also we have taken steps towards the realization of a heavenly unified Korea and a heavenly unified world. Despite differences in nationality, religion, race and culture, we are united in the realization of a lasting world of peace through of interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universal values. May we become light of hope in this time of challenges. Once again, join me in offering a round of applause to the mother of peace, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, for hosting today's event. Beloved leaders from around the world, I hope that our resolve for international cooperation will resonate even more strongly around the world during the next Rally of Hope. Please maintain your interest. And now, we I would like to invite you with a Korean tradition, which is Cheers of Manse. And the cheers will be led by Reverend Chu Jin Tae, Hwang Bo Guk, Yu Gyeong Duk, Yi Sang Jae, and Pa Gyeong Bae. They are co chairs of Family Federation for World Peace in Korea. And through these cheers of Manse, wish to express their desire to realize a heavenly unified Korea. Manse is an oriental performance wishing for long life and victory. Centering on heavenly parents' holy community, Three Cheers of Ong Manse is a performance that symbolizes eternal peace and victory. Our hopes are reflected within these three cheers of Manse. We hope to overcome the current global crisis and open wide the doors of hope through the spirit of interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universal values. We will be triumphant in realizing a unified Korea and a unified world centering on heavenly parent. We will work in unity with the mother of peace, Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, in bringing about a lasting world of peace. Please join us in wishing three cheers of Manse. Manse for the almighty creator, the heavenly parent, and the victorious true parents. Manse for the peaceful reunification of Korea. Manse for the realization of a heavenly unified world.
Beloved leaders, ladies and gentlemen, let us conclude the fifth rally of hope for the realization of a heavenly unified world held in celebration of True Parents' birthday with a warm round of applause. And uh, as we conclude today's rally of hope for the closing performance, the International Association of Youth and Students for Peace, they have prepared a special performance to wish for lasting peace around the world. They have prepared a performance titled, The Tiger is Coming. This is a performance wishing for blessings. I look forward to seeing you with greater, more inspiring content at our next Rally of Hope. Thank you very much and enjoy the closing performance. Thank you. के सबसे बड़ी तंजीम यूनिवर्सल पीस फेडरेशन के जरिए तमाम जनूबी कोरिया में रैली ऑफ होप इंटरनेशनल ऑनलाइन कॉन्फ्रेंस जारी थी आपको सिखा रहे थे